Wolves 2 Aston Villa 1, Johnny Volley and Young own goal boost Wolves top 6 bid as Watkins replies with late penalty. Steven Gerrard challenged his Villa players to show they could be top dogs in the Midlands. But they were mauled by a pack of hungry Wolves who gave them a lesson in how to spring from defence to attack with ruthless efficiency. Despite a late penalty from Ollie Watkins, it was too little too late for Villa who were sunk by first half goals from Johnny and Ashley Young own goal as Bruno Lage's men surged 13 points clear of their big spending rivals. Lage has had to spin straw into gold at times on a shoestring budget, but his well-drilled side are now well clear of Villa and showed why here. They possess the dogged determination and consistency Gerard is still trying to instill in his flaky side, who will no doubt come in for a major overhaul this summer. Despite some flashes of brilliance from Felipe Coutinho Villa never looked likely winners here. However they almost pulled off a late smash and grab job and stop page time, when Matty Cash volleyed narrowly white in a frantic finale as tempers flared. The last time this pair met Villa buckled to surrender a two-goal lead as Wolves plundered three goals in a frantic final 15 minutes. That amazing turnaround in October marked the beginning of the end for Dean Smith, and three defeats later Gerard replaced him. Yet despite the change in personnel at the top, Villa started this match just as they had ended the last one, suckered by Lage's cunning wolves. Free bets and sign-up deals, best new customer offers despite being without the suspended Raul Jimenez and injured Ruben Neves, Wolves deserved this hard-fought three points. One slip from John McGinn was all it took for Wolves to spring forward and seize Villa by the jugular after seven minutes. The Scot lost his footing as he surged forward, and Joao Matinho's eyes lit up as he pounced on the unexpected gift. The Portuguese veteran's clipped ball towards Daniel Potence appeared to be heading for Esri Kansa. However the Villa defender also lost his footing and tumbled to the turf, allowing Potence to Chopin's item. His initial shot was brilliantly blocked by McGinn and Fabio Silva's follow-up smacked off Lucas Dean. However there was to be no escape as Johnny made a third time lucky, smashing a right foot volley which sped past Martinez into the top corner from seven yards. It was a spectacular finish from the Spaniard who opened his account for the season in Wolves' last game before the international break against Leeds. Tyrone Mings, a goalscorer for England during the week, then looked hesitant as he allowed Fabio Silva to nip in front of him to spark more panic in the Villa defence, but Martinez turned Silva's shot for a corner. Trinkau then left Lucas Dean and Jacob Ramsey for dead with some nifty footwork which resulted in Dean going off with a muscle injury and being replaced by Ashley Young. Felipe Coutinho did his best to get Villa going, but Conor Cody clipped his wings to earn a booking, and from the free kick Coutinho's effort dipped narrowly over, Jose Sa then denied Leon Bailey with a spectacular fingertip save. But Villa's hopes of gaining a foothold were soon crushed as Villa pushed the self-destruct button. Marcel crossed from the left, and when the ball bounced off the turf Ashley Young headed in off the underside of his own crossbar under pressure from Silva to leave Martinez beaten and bewildered. Villa were rattled and almost conceded a third when Dendinker slashed his shot wide with only Martinez to beat. Ollie Watkins then squandered a chance to grab a foothold just after the break, sweeping his shot wide with only Sa to beat. The England striker did earn a late penalty when he beat Sa to a deflected ball and the keeper sent him toppling. But despite Watkins converting, Cash's late miss condemned Villa to a painful derby defeat.